Well, former North Dakota guard Gino Crandall now playing out in Britain and was just named the tournament MVP of the British League Cup final. And Gino, uh, kind enough to spend a couple of moments with us. First of all, congratulations. I know that is a big deal out there, uh, not only for you to win this cup, but also to be named the game MVP. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for having me on. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a huge deal. Um, so the cup final is basically like a, a mid-season tournament that they do. Um, and, and like you mentioned, it's, it's huge out here. Um, you know, they packed out a huge, I think, 10,000 seat arena or something, like record crowd. I think people were excited to, to have an event, you know, kind of on the tail end of this COVID stuff to, that they could get to and watch some live basketball. So it was a great event, great showcase for myself to be able to show what I could do and, and you know, what basketball was in this country and for the league. So, you know, super excited to have won that. And I'm proud to be able to be, like you said, named MVP of, of that game. And this is your second season now playing with the Riders out there in this uh, league out there. What What's your overall experience? What's it been like for you to, to kind of go through this and adjust to playing out there? Yeah, it's been um, it, <laughs> an experience for sure. It's, it's had its ups and downs. Um, I came actually as a replacement player for a, a, um, a player that was signed to Riders and then decided after uh, preseason, basically, that he wanted to go back home and try his luck in uh, the NBA and in, in the draft in the G League system. Um, so I was fortunate enough that they reached out to me. You know, I was the next guy up and I made the most of it. Um, was able to win league MVP last year and lead the team to a championship and hoping to repeat that success this year. Um, and, and it's just been, you know, a, a great experience to get to live in a different part of the world, you know, pick up on different things culturally and, uh, you know, obviously being fortunate enough to continue to play basketball. You've kind of turned into a fan favorite out there, haven't you? If people, a lot of people wearing Gino Crandall shirts and jerseys out there, what's that been like? Yeah, um, a little bit. You know, I, I think I've always been a player that um, has – you know, kind of been enjoyable to watch. I think I play really hard. Um, I think I play smart and I think there's a certain, you know, flair to, to things. I wouldn't, I think I'm just more creative at times and more willing to be creative um, as, rather than just, you know, sometimes some people don't like it that I don't always just stick to the fundamentals. Uh, but I think it's something that, that, you know, has definitely grown on the people that have been watching me over here. And it's, it, it's been a cool experience because like you said, you know, going to games and seeing people with my shirts and my jerseys on and, you know, kids always asking for pictures and asking for advice. Going to road games, you know, we go to away games and there's players or kids, excuse me, and fans and adults even just yelling my name, wanting to get pictures. You know, I'm like, we're in warm ups. I'm trying to get ready for a game. Can, can I get to you after? But um, no, it's great. I mean, I think it's humbling. It's it's nice to see, you know, that years and years and years of work has paid off in a sense. Um, I hope this isn't, you know, the, the plateau for me. So I'd continue to, or like to continue building on that, but it's definitely, definitely an amazing experience. And then now take me through the rest of this season, this, this tournament that you play in for the British basketball league cup is kind of the mid season point. And now you got more regular season games before the playoffs. Yep. So we're back to the, uh, back to the regular season now that the cup is done. Um, and we're 10 and 0, uh, top of the league right now. Um, so I, I think for us is just continuing to, you know, do the things that we've done that have led to success, but also get better in, in areas that we feel like we've got holes. Um, here, I've, I've got I'm lucky enough to have a great team and a great system in terms of, you know, the players are all on top of their stuff. Our coaching staff is great. So they make sure that we're never, you know, plateauing, especially early in the season. Um, I think our goal is to continue to grow, you know, and not be satisfied with winning the cup. And then with starting the season 10-0, and 0, you know, we want to be as good as we can be in April and May at the end of the season. Well, I appreciate the time, Gino. Congratulations on all your success out there, and we will see you down the road, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.